Hi, this is Ms. Townsend and welcome to Math with Townsend. We're talking about the Grade 9 Academic Analytic Geometry Summative. This is question 3. It says the points 4, 1, 3, negative 3 and negative 4, 3 are connected to form a triangle. Graph these points and algebraically show that this triangle is right angled. Well, we'll talk about the algebra a second. Let's start by doing the easy stuff. Let's graph these points. So we need to get a graph. There's my nice graph. It already has the axes well defined, arrows on the end, so I just need to add X and Y labels. And now I can start graphing this triangle. Now, before I put my points on the graph, you know that we've talked about how you're supposed to label things on a graph. Well, these are going to be three points. So before I start graphing them, I want to give them all names so that I can label them. So I'm going to call them point A, B, and C. This is just one of those math communication things that's important. So here's point A, 4, 1. And I'll call it A. B is 3, negative 3. And C is negative 4, 3. See, the fact that I gave them names made it easier for me to talk about what I was doing. And now I'm going to take my ruler, which is not that easy for me. Let's see if I can make this work. Now I'm going to take my ruler. Oh, and I'm going to. Isn't this nice? make a triangle. There's my triangle. Um, so I graph the points and now I'm supposed to show that this is a right angled triangle algebraically. So when I look carefully at this triangle it definitely looks like my right angle is probably right here at vertex A. This really doesn't look like a right angle and this doesn't look like a right angle so it's probably going to be point A. So how am I supposed to show that it's a right angle algebraically? Well, what I'm hoping is that you make the following connections. A right angle, you know, means a 90 degree angle. And hopefully, based on what we learned this unit, you then make the connection that if there's a 90 degree angle, then there must be perpendicular lines. And that's how this question connects to the unit we just did. So in other words, I'm going to pretend that there is a line that goes through C and A. Let's call it line 1. And that line should be perpendicular to a line that goes through AB, which we'll call line 2. So what I'm doing is that I'm extending the sides of the triangles to create lines. And if I can show that those two lines are perpendicular, then I know that these two sides are perpendicular. And that means that there's a right angle in this triangle. So I've certainly messed up this diagram quite a lot. Let's go to the next page. So again, I've already put this. A, B, and C are the three points. We're going to need that information. And again, here's that triangle that we just did. And so we called this one line 1. So that's the line that goes through points A and C. So line 1 goes through A and C. And line 2 was this one. So line 2 goes through A and B. And we want to show that line 1 is perpendicular to line 2. How do we show that lines are perpendicular? We all know the answer to this. We need their slopes. If we can find the slopes of those lines, then we know that they're perpendicular. We don't even need to find the whole equation of those lines. All we need is the slopes. So let's find the slopes. I'm going to take this with me to the next page. There's my points. So let's talk about line one. 
Line one, again, line one used points A and C. So the slope would be, we'll use the slope formula. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So again, I'm using points A and C. So I'm going to get 2 over negative 8, which is negative a quarter. That's the slope of line 1. So that's the slope of line 1. Now we do the same thing with line 2. So line 2 pass through points A and B. So using A and B, I have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So I get negative 3 minus 1, negative 4 over negative 1, which is 4. So the slope of line 2 is 4. So look what I have. I have the slope of line 1. I have the slope of line 2. You should recognize them as negative reciprocals. So let's see how we can conclude this particular question. We can say that since 4 times negative 1 over 4 equals negative 1, line 1 and line 2 are perpendicular. And by the way, this is much better in a conclusion than saying they're negative reciprocals. Because what if the person doesn't know what negative reciprocals are, but everybody knows what multiplication is. So since line 1 and line 2 are perpendicular, comma, these sides labeled AC and AB meet at 90 degrees. Therefore, this triangle is right angled. There we go. Make sense? All done.